all right you are welcome again okay today let's take a look at this particular problem it says prove that the arithmetic mean of any two positive real numbers a and b is greater than or equal to their geometric mean okay this is what we want to look at and i want you to pay close attention it's very simple all right good now first of all i want you to understand the question itself understand the problem itself before devising or before finding a model to the problem first of all they say we are to prove that the arithmetic mean of any two positive real numbers a and b is greater than or equal to their geometric mean first of all what is arithmetic mean okay arithmetic mean you know where they say summation x all over n right that is all the variables that you have you add them together divided by the number of the variables okay so here we have a and b so we simply add a and b together divided by two since they are just two a is one b is two right that is arithmetic mean and then what is geometric mean so the geometric mean is talking about the square root of the multiplication the product of all the variables square root of the product of all the variables okay here we have a and b so we'll simply say the square root of a times b so this is the geometric mean so now they are saying that for any two positive real numbers a and b the arithmetic mean is greater or equal to the geometric mean all right so let's put it mathematically mathematically we say am is greater than or equal to gm and here we see that am is arithmetic mean which is the same thing as saying a plus b all over 2 is greater than or equal to square root of a times b right yes now here whenever you see that two things you are comparing two things for instance you want to compare 20 naira or you want to compare 20 units and 35 units so for you to show that that 5 unit is greater than 20 unit it means that when you say 35 unit minus 20 unit the remaining should be greater than zero so you have proven that 35 units is greater or is bigger or is more than 20 units do you understand you have two things let's say 35 units and 20 units so if you want to show that 35 units is greater than 20 units you will simply say that 35 units minus 20 units the remaining should be or must be greater than zero automatically you've proven it okay so that means that is exactly what we're going to do here we're going to show that am minus gm is greater than zero okay so that is when you have your am arithmetic mean and you subtract geometric mean from arithmetic mean there should be something remaining and that thing remaining should be greater or equal to zero automatically we have proven that arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of any two positive real numbers okay now let's go let's prove it we are going to do it step by step all right but i want you to understand the concepts first okay now let's go let's start we have am minus gm is greater than zero right and we say that am is a plus b all over two is greater than or equal to gm 
which is square root of a times b. Okay, yes. Here, the first thing we are going to do is let's just clear the fraction. Let's remove the fraction. How are we going to remove this fraction in this left-hand side where we have a plus b all over 2? We can simply multiply both sides by 2. So when we multiply both sides by 2, the fraction is going to go, right? So we multiply, we are going to have a plus b is greater than or equal to 2 square root of a times b. Right? Good. So what is the next thing? We want to remove the square root of a times b. Okay? We square both sides. Let's square both sides. So when we square both sides, we are going to have a plus b squared is greater than or equal to 2 square root of a times b, all in bracket, squared. You know, it's still the same thing, right? Good. So, in this right-hand side, the squared is for everything inside this bracket. It's for all the content, right? Let's distribute it. So, that means 2 is going to have the squared. And then square root of AB in bracket is going to have squared also. So, for this square root of AB, the squared is going to cancel the square root, right? And then 2 squared is the same as 4. So here we have 4ab. Is that true? Yes. Now for the left hand side, you know we have a plus b in bracket squared. It's the same thing as saying a plus b in bracket times a plus b. Isn't it? Because when we say squared, right? Like 2 squared is the same thing as saying 2 times 2. Isn't it? So here we have a plus b in bracket squared is the same as a plus b in bracket times the same a plus b in bracket. So if we multiply these two brackets now in our left hand side, we're going to have a times a a squared, a times b a b, b times a a b, b times b b squared. I'm very sure you know how to open brackets, right? Yes, it's greater than a or equal to. 4ab. Now we have ab plus ab. We join it together, it's going to give us 2ab. We have ab, ab. Join it together, it gives us 2 of ab, right? Good. Then we have b squared is greater than or equal to 4ab. Good. Now, can we take this 4ab to the left hand side? So while going, it's going to change from positive to negative right so we're going to have a square plus 2ab plus b squared minus 4ab is greater than or equal to what zero since we take it that means nothing is remaining there isn't it yes so pay attention please in this place here we have 2ab minus 4ab so when you say 2 minus 4, what are you going to have? I'm going to have minus 2. So here we have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is greater than or equal to 0. Isn't it? Yes. Now pay attention again. You know, before we, there was a place we say ab plus ab gives us 2ab. That is to say, it's the same thing as saying minus ab minus ab. It's still going to give us minus 2ab. Hello. Are we together? Yes. In this place where we have minus 2ab, it's the same thing as say minus ab minus ab. It will give us minus 2ab. So we expand it. Good. It's greater than or equal to 0. Let's group it 2 by 2. Since there are 4, we group it what? 2 by 2. So the first one, a squared minus ab in bracket squared. Now, we factor out minus here. Now, put ab minus b squared in bracket. Now, this bracket now, when you use this minus to open the bracket, when you say minus times ab is going to give you minus ab, the minus times minus b squared is going to give you positive b squared. Are we together? Yes. Now, we say greater than or equal to zero. Now, we have two brackets, right? So let's factor out. Here we have a squared minus ab. What is common between a squared and ab? a is common there. When we remove a from a squared, hmm, we are going to have a remaining. 
and we will remove a from a b we have minus b is going to remain right good then we have minus in a b minus b square we also factor out what is common between them so in a b minus b squared the common is what is b so we'll factor out b we're going to have a minus b remaining right yes greater than or equal to zero so here we have the same thing inside the bracket we pick one and then the variable outside we pick them right so the variable outside is a and minus b we have a minus b in bracket then pick one of the bracket which is a minus b also so here we have a minus b in bracket a minus b in bracket is greater than or equal to zero is that true a minus b in bracket a minus b in bracket is greater than or equal to zero is that true now you remember when we say two times two is the same as two squared and in the same manner where we have a minus b times a minus b is the same as a minus b squared in bracket squared all right good so when we put it this way we have a minus b in bracket squared is greater than or equal to zero is that true now you discover that the square of any number must be greater than zero hello the square of any number must be greater than zero even if it's negative maybe you have uh, minus two in bracket square it's going to give you what it's going to give you positive four so therefore we see that a minus b in bracket squared is definitely greater than zero so here we have proven that the arithmetic mean of any two real positive numbers a and b is greater than or equal to their geometric mean so we say hence the word the proof all right yes please i want you to watch this carefully and go through it again for proper assimilation and understanding thank you very much for watching thank you for being with us please if you are new to our youtube channel do well to subscribe like and share our videos stay blessed and always thank you